<coughs> cough my balls off because I have a smoker's cough. <coughs> yeah, I've been smoking a lot. Not weed, cigarettes, because uh, I'm depressed. Uh, that's why I've been drinking black coffee. Black coffee gives you uh, emotion and sustenates you from drinking. <laughs> that's black coffee for you. You put some dubstep on your hips there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, then I, this week, I fucking cut my hand open and got five stitches, cutting an avocado. I, it, there's not even a punchline to that. I fucking cut myself cutting an avocado. I, I'm pretty sure it, it, it's not vegan anymore. Or vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, so, yesterday was a shit show. I have like a no contact on me at my grandmother's. So I come here, help her and take care of her. And I'm not really supposed to be here. And my grandparents are, well, after 50 years of marriage, it, it becomes a reality TV show. And it's not very uh, kosher to the kids. <laughs> my grandmother, my grandmother side, my grandfather side doing some honeymooners bullshit. And they got into each other's face. Mind you, my grandmother's 89 and my grandfather is like 75. So it. <laughs> Just let was seeing this always happen. It, it it's rather intense and like awkward because it happens very often. Them fucking getting each other's faces. Well, my grandmother fucking got uh, scratched my grandfather, and he ended up calling the police on her. And they, as police officers in the state of Rhode Island, have to take care of domestic crimes, and they have to arrest whoever the um who the perpetrator was, whatever you want to call it, not the victim, um, my grandfather called in, all right, I'm smoking a pole while this is all happening, I hear him on the phone, fucking like Speedy Gonzalez, I scoop up all my fucking shit and jump into my car, which has no fucking brakes, waiting to get those fixed today, that's my fucking luck, who gives a fuck with that, so fuck, let's start ruining my calipers while I'm driving, <laughs> feeding crime, <laughs> I'm like the opposite. Of Batman, I feel. Not the Joker. Joker's more more funnier. Um, <laughs> oh, what else happened this week? Um, it wasn't this week. It was last week. I got dumped. And it's because of all the stressful shit I deal with all the time. And it's, it's very stressful. Where it manifests itself in my drunken antics. And my drunken antics usually don't get me very far besides yelling at someone or crying in a corner. So I try to not be as impulsive to some of the stuff, but I am. And um, I called her a cunt. I shouldn't have called her a cunt. She was making me feel like shit. But then again, she wanted me to be, like shave my head basically and become Professor Xavier and read fucking minds. I ain't no fucking X-Men. I ain't going to no radiated treatments to become an X-Men. Nor will I. <laughs> Uh, you ever seen that cokehead? <coughs> he's chewing gum, but he's not chewing gum. He's just like, but there's no gum ever. He's always around, like, button up some collar ups and shit. <coughs> time filler. That's what I asked. Time filler. <laughs> Trying to figure out. Um,. My friend was asking me why I've been so depressed lately, too. And I'm like, crippling fucking depression, bro. It's really getting to me. She goes, then why are you drunk yet? I'm like, because I don't want crippling depression yet. Wait until later. She only comes around once in a blue moon. <laughs> I don't even know. But she also asked me to get her a bag cuffed. And I'm like, bro, you got to practice trust falls on that shit. You got to, you, you willing to make that synergy with your drug dealer to trade like that? Like, he, he has to wait a week for you. Are you willing to wait a week for him? Picture if cuffs worked like that. Picture like, yo, I'll cuff you out bag next week. Can you wait for it? Like I have to wait for the money? 